Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're back in the fish room. We're with Mega Tank. Do you remember when I used to be one of those fish tubers that used to give advice and say, this is how you keep a healthy and happy fish tank and keep everything stable. Today is one of the days where I go against everything I've ever advised. So I went down to my local fish shop, which is a Maidenhead Aquatics here, to look at some plants for an aquarium that I'm doing over there for another video. I just wanted to get an idea of sizes and things and thought, I'm just going to look. I'm not going to buy anything. I bought a bunch of plants and then we'll get them in and I can continue with that video and that's great but then I did this so as I was wandering around you know I have my love for silver dollars because I've got a couple in there they had a few larger silver dollars in there and when I say a few I mean nine so I bought them so silver dollars have recently become quite a favorite of mine um, oh it's a big old bag and they are, what a size, look at the size of them. So the temperature is pretty much the same. So I'm just going to float them for a few minutes. Second bag. <laughs> the size of them. But in the other box, it's something really quite special. You'll have seen these around the internet everywhere. But I've never seen one in person this size. <coughs> wow, he's angry. <laughs> Big fish are powerful. Uh, it's a flag tail. In case you couldn't see that. Floated them for about 10 minutes. It's not going to need more than that. It's only a short drive from the fish shop to here, so the temperature won't drop that much. I'm going to use my normal plop and drop method, which takes me on to my second thing that you shouldn't do. First, don't impulse buy fish. Second, quarantine new fish all the time. But I have no tank suitable to quarantine fish of this size. So I have to take the risk. Um, so with that said, let's get on with it. I'll start with the silver dollars. I've got the net over the poly box. I'm just going to get in there, pour them in, without grabbing them. Get them quite low down so there's, I don't want to give them a big massive drop. And we've got nine in total. And I think they're all, without doubt, bigger than the ones that I already had in there. I'm going to go with the flag tail nets because he's proper freaking out. <laughs> but, well, just while he's in there, he is almost the full length of this poly box. Maybe about two inches shorter. If I caught that on a fishing trip, I'd be well happy. The other bag of dollars. And four in this one. And the reason I like silver dollars, and a lot of people will give it, mm, silver dollars are boring, silver dollars are rubbish. They're fantastic in a big group like this. Swimming together in a big tank like this, they give the big fish, can do their big fish thing and just be there looking beautiful. The amount of colour and movement that's added by a big school of silver dollars, it's going to be fantastic. And there we go, even though I've just added 10 massive fish, the tank doesn't even look full, but this is exactly the look I was going for. All these silver dollars, all grouping together, patrolling the tank, and then the big flag tail. Look at this guy. So, reason number three that I've broken. Never buy a fish to do a job, but that is exactly what I want this guy to do. These are notorious algae eaters, cleaners, the cleanup crew for the large aquarium. Because those lips just go 10 to the dozen. And I'm hoping 
he will spend his days rooting around, cleaning algae off the ornaments, the glass, everything. And looking cool while he does it. So a couple of hours now, the fish have been in there. Everyone seems to be getting along fine. The only fish who seems a little bit put out is Brian. He's the giant grammy that you can see right at the back there behind all the silver dollars. He's kind of, I just think he's thinking, what the hell is going on? Who are all these people? I was the tank boss until Gordon reminds him he wasn't. So maybe he just needs a couple of days to let everyone settle in together. But yeah, Snakehead Gordon's been to say hello. No aggression seen at all. It has only been a little bit of time, so obviously we'll need to keep an eye on things. But the chat with the guys in the shop, the Flagtail is a very peaceful indiv individual. I mean, they're not known to be aggressive or anything generally, but they've had this one for a while now and noticed that he doesn't bother anyone. So if he doesn't bother anyone, I'm hopeful the others in here won't bother him. Several dollars can all hold their own. Let's look at that. It's fantastic the way they just swung back and forth. This tank's just, it's a whole new dimension now with all this extra movement in there. And it doesn't feel too crowded yet either. And there's something about a big silver dollar too. It just reminds me of like miniature pakus. <laughs> and see the light shining, hitting it in different colours coming off it. I think they get a bad rap as being a bit of a boring fish sometimes, well they're clearly not, they're very active. Alright, I can't keep plants in this tank ever, but I think they more than make up for it. The flagtails, like I say, I've only ever seen them in shops at a much, much smaller size. I've never actually seen them at this size, and I've got, I'm estimating he's going to be about a foot. And definitely if he's going to do a job and look as cool as that at the same time, I think we're on to a winner. A very welcome addition to Mega Tank. In other general news, Mega Tank is holding up well, still going strong. Um, I did get a bit of a panic where we had loads of rain last night and some water started coming up through the floor again. So when I opened the garage door, I was like, no, not again. But no, it's holding strong. Holding strong, looking better than ever. So there you go. I just wanted to make a quick video to show off my stupid buys. Remember, this is all the things you shouldn't do. So this is very much do as I say, not as I do. It is a risk. As much as some people try and rationalise this and say, oh, no, well, I'm so experienced. No, it's a risk. It is a risk. As long as you accept the risk, you can hopefully manage it. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Uh, come and join me on a Friday at 9pm UK time, as always. We do a quiz on a Friday night with some prizes and giveaways and general chit-chat. Um, other than that, there are subscribe buttons and stuff down below. Give one of them a push. See you in the next one. Bye!